Now, the situation is that the, the floodwaters are starting to recede, so the rainfall across southern Queensland has started to abate this afternoon and move offshore. Uh, but those rivers that are running through that area, particularly the McIntyre River, uh, has been in major flood for 24 hours now and uh, water levels are starting to recede. Uh, we assisted the local disaster management group with the evacuation of nearly 800 people last night. Uh, those people are looking to return today and we're getting crews in there to support the LDMG with the uh, damage assessment uh, around the town. Uh, and to assist with the cleanup so that residents can return. And I understand there have been hundreds of calls for help. What sort of incidents? Uh, there is. Well, unfortunately, we've had uh, quite a number of calls in the last 24 hours to assist uh, with swift water rescues. So people continue to ignore our messages not to drive through floodwaters. Uh, and we've had a number of swift water rescues that have been performed uh, today. Uh, and our message to, to people is clear. If you come across floodwaters, uh, please back it up. Uh, if it's flooded, forget it. Find a different way to, to travel. The, uh, the flood waters can be particularly difficult. You don't know how, how shallow that water might be. And even if you think your vehicle is powerful enough to get through the flood waters, please don't take the chance because you don't know what the surface of that roadway is like under the water. Yeah. Uh, and we've had to attend far too many rescues in the last 24 hours where people put themselves at risk and they put the lives of our first responders at risk in trying to rescue them. So please don't drive through flood, flooded roadways. Were some of the residents caught off guard by this event? Uh, certainly last night um, the, there was a, a big rainfall event in that area. I understand that Inglewood received 90 millimetres of rain uh, in around an hour. So the local disaster management group was uh, monitoring the water levels in the river system there and it was coming up quite steadily, but with 90 millimetres in a short space of time, that river system rose very quickly. And whilst we got messaging out to the community, in the end for many who had planned to evacuate out to Warwick and other locations, it just wasn't possible. So people made their way to high ground uh, in the township uh, and waited out for the flood waters to recede. How are the checks and balances, uh, checks and clearances, I should say, going uh, on the homes? Because uh, there are obviously a lot of them uh, to get through and uh, I expect a lot of people will be spending another night away from their homes. Yes, uh, that's right. So um, the floodwaters are receding slowly and then once they have gone down sufficiently, we'll get crews in there, we'll work with local government and other emergency services, we'll do damage assessments of all of the homes and properties and then we'll get some of our first responders in to help with the cleanup, uh, washing out of, of homes where the water levels have come up above floorboard level um, and then try and uh, work with uh, local government, the recovery agencies, the insurance industry to try and get those properties and businesses uh, back up and running and get people back into their homes as quickly as possible. Do you have concerns for other rivers and other districts at this point? There's a number of river systems across southern Queensland that we're keeping a close eye on at the moment, <clears throat> particularly uh, the Logan River through Bow Desert. Uh, we're looking at communities like Texas. So with a lot of these uh, floodways now, these, this body of water will move progressively down through the catchments. And so we're trying to put information out to communities in the path of, of the, the water. And we're saying to people, please uh, listen to your local uh, commercial radio stations, television networks, uh, tune into social media, uh, look at the Bureau of Meteorology website, uh, arm yourself with as much information about what this flood event is doing as you possibly can. Uh, and if you're going to leave your property, please make that decision early. Don't leave it uh, too late. If you're going to leave, leave early.